Good morning. It is 9:47 now, and uh, the music from Aladdin here. It is a timeless fairy tale. It became a family favorite when Disney brought it to the big screen. And now Aladdin is coming to life on stage. Casey's behind the scenes this morning at the Fifth Avenue. Good morning. Good morning. Doesn't even start till tomorrow, and they've let us in a day ahead of time. And I'm here with one of the stars, and I'm so excited to introduce you to the genie himself, James Monroe Eigelhart. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? I am doing extremely well. You even sound like a genie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. That is a compliment. Thank I mean, you very much. Thank you. That so means a lot. This is the first time we've seen Aladdin as a musical yes. on stage, non-cartoon. Yes. Explain to us what it's been like bringing this show to life for you. Um, it's been the best and greatest time of my entire life. It's also been extremely scary because <laughs> everybody and their mama are waiting to see the film. But what you are going to see is a wonderful mixture of what you loved from the film with a brand new medium of live theater, live stage, new songs, some twists and turns in the story you may not have known were originally supposed to be in the cartoon but have now been brought back to be for the stage. Really? People are going to have a wonderful and amazing time. Trust me. Okay, so when you're playing the genie, and yes. we talked about this a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. you sing a lot of really fun songs. What's yes. your favorite one to sing? Um, I don't put, most people think it's going to be Friend Like Me because Friend Like Me is like the big number, but then we have a new song in the show called uh, Somebody's Got Your Back, and it's a nice duet between uh, myself and Aladdin and his new three three characters that were supposed to be in the original cartoon but were cut out but are now in the show, uh, Babcak, Omar, and Kasim. They sing back up for us. It's a, a wonderful buddy tune, and I just fell in love with the song, and we get to act so silly, <laughs> and um, that's why I got into this business, to act silly, so this is a perfect song for hey, me. Hey, man, I'm with you on that. That's why I got into my business. <laughs> exactly. My boss is going, what? Uh, so with Aladdin coming to stage here, yes. you have a lot of experience with originating a play originating a musical you were in Memphis yes so what is it like to be a part of this having done this before what are we in for as far as an audience and as far as a cast making it you know for an audience you are in for um, a, just a brand new experience you know I know people have a certain um, they, they, they have so much love for the cartoon yes. but when they see this they're gonna get a, a different experience they're gonna be like oh I didn't know that was there we get a little bit deeper into um, Aladdin's background we get deeper into how uh, Jasmine feels we get deeper into how Jeannie feels about certain things but as far as like doing a brand new show Everything, they're, they're, everything is up for grabs. It's completely new. What the writer brings new pages to us every day, and when I mean every day, I mean after this interview is over, I'll go back to my little mailbox, and there'll probably be a new page that I'll have to memorize <laughs> before the lights come on. And so every day there's a new, there's new choreography, uh, there's new sets. We had a set last night. They didn't like it. They moved it back out. They put something else in, and we have to get blocked around that new set. And it's all before the audience gets here. And once previews start, we may even have rehearsals after that just to get the show just right before opening night. So when it's a new show, it's it's literally just that, a brand new show, and everything has to be just created from the ground up. And families are going to love this. Families are going to love this. Uh, kids are going to love it. Grandparents are going to love it. Guys who want to take girls on a date are going to love it. Oh, come on. You know, most brothers are always trying to figure out what to take their girl to see. <laughs> and you look at your woman and you go, hey, honey, let's go see Aladdin. It's a whole new world. <gasps> Bruh, go for that. <laughs> As I can just see it now. Don't you dare close your eyes. And he's, and she's like, together. thank you for bringing me. He's like, oh, baby, it's all about you, honey. You know, I just want to make you feel okay. We need to hire you for some of our viewers. Here's more information on how you can find out. Coming to see Aladdin at the Fifth Avenue Theater. Previews opening tomorrow. It runs through the 31st of this month. Go to Q13Fox.com and click on Mornings with Casey. James, a delight. Thank you so much. A delight much. to meet you. Thank you. You're make a great genie. I just know it. Thank you very much. I hope so. <laughs> Back to you guys. Man, what a, what a voice. What a personality, Pipes. huh? Yes. That's the stuff. All right, Casey, thank you.